Hi everyone. Please let me know if um, you can hear me. Okay. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Mimi Atienza from the Philippines. And I'm one of the moderators of our ever-growing community, Raising Your Frequency. Um, first off, I would like to thank our admins, my fellow moderators for um, their efforts in sustaining our community. I believe um, this group is really benefiting a lot of our members, especially in their journey to awaken. I would also like to thank our admins, my fellow moderators, for giving me this chance to share a part of my own experience to awaken, to pursue enlightenment. So, um, I'd like to believe that um, my awakening um, was starting back, far back in 2005, during our first family crisis. But, but back then, I was not really paying much attention to it because I didn't even know that there is such a thing as spiritual awakening. So after that um, big family crisis, I just went back to my usual busy life, my busy day-to-day -day routine until um, 2020 came. The pandemic happened. We were on a lockdown and I was forced to stop everything that I was doing. And because I had nothing to do, <laughs> I was in a panic mode. I was really in a state of fear, very low energy because I didn't know how I would provide for my children. I was always overthinking. I was really in torment. And that's when I questioned our Creator. I questioned our Source as to what, why all this, how all these things are happening to me, to, um, to our um, surroundings, to our fellow men, and why is it uh, radically changing many lives i was asking a lot of questions i was waiting for answers but at the same time i was also aware that if i want to really understand the questions that i will be receiving i would have to quiet my mind i would have to somehow um, remove all the noise, all the confusions that is happening inside my mind, because um, it would it would be futile to ask for questions, and then uh, when the answers come, you're not prepared to receive them, right? So, I was moved to look for ways to quiet my mind. I was beginning to get exhausted. I was um, having sleepless nights. I was, you know, I felt like giving up. But um, somehow I was assured that if the Creator was able to um, help me during our first crisis. I was, I was also sure that this time 
I will be able to come out of this again victoriously. But uh, still, uh, when you are uncertain of the future, you tend to overreact. You tend to, uh, you know, just um, think of the worst things. So I was really getting tired, exhausted. Um, I felt like giving up. Uh, I, 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 I still, uh, during 2020, the pandemic was still far from over. Our lockdown was still uh, very limiting to us. And so, um, all I could do was talk to our creator. And, and I decided that I will use that time to prepare myself so that when this pandemic is over, and I will have to start over again, I will know already how to go about it. And so I was, uh, I think those are my spirit guides pointing me to the direction of going within and meditating again. Yes, I already practiced meditation before, but you know how people are when things um, get better already. <laughs> They tend to go back to, to their old habits and uh, neglect the newly acquired ones. So I tried meditation before, it helped me, but when I became better, um, um, I, I forgot all about it again. <laughs> but this time, in 2020, um, um, I was determined to benefit from meditation. I have been getting um, feedbacks that they really are very helpful. So this time I was determined to do it properly and more regularly. And when I was able to quiet my mind, I added one very important component to my routine. I visualized my energy getting connected to the energy of our source. So I visualize my thoughts connecting to the energy, to the light of our source, and I was absorbing the light of our source, and I was making it flow from my crown to my whole being. And that worked for me. That did it for me. Um, I was not only quieting my mind, but I was also feeding my energy. While I was feeding my physical with food, I was feeding my light with light. I didn't know what was happening then, but I just noticed that uh, I was transforming. While, while I continued my meditation, my uh, connection with our source, my physical was transforming. Um, I got healed of my illnesses. I got rejuvenated. Nobody would believe that um, I'm already 55. Um, my, my mind became much, much sharper my senses which used to be the sources of my distractions from awake uh, for uh, from awakening became my sources of information from the spirit realm so when i was raising my energy when i was feeding my energy my senses started to become heightened and I start, started getting access to sacred knowledge. I, I hope you have already noticed that I, wa I, I am sharing this knowledge, this sacred wisdom to our group. Every time I get a download, I would share them to our group until I got this revelation in 2022 that I am supposed to compile everything. I am supposed to document my awakening, my, uh, the process of my 
enlightenment and put it all in a book and in 2023 of june i started um writing everything right and i finished back in september 2023 i published um in uh, october this october the book ascended our complete guide to um, awakening to our divinity it's a very simple guide to how we can awaken to our true being and our purpose it's a very simple um, guide to proceeding from awakened to being enlightened and to finally be able to ascend from this physical realm okay and that's what I would like to share um, to all of you tonight. Um, one thing that is very, very important to me in this uh, journey is that when I experienced overwhelming peace, when I was able to understand the root cause as to why our energy gets lowered or stuck in low energy or low frequency i was able to um, address it more properly and more permanently and i tell you once we have removed all the confusion in our mind it is very very easy to understand all the divine wisdom that we all already have that that just got buried under all our daily concerns all our um, you know the distractions that we ourselves create but once you get hold of those uh, of this divine knowledge you get a fresh set of eyes you get to see this world from a new perspective you get to see this world as and this life as truly beautiful so that's what um i would like to share now i already uh, uploaded this um uh, slides in our group and i made this so that i will have a guide as to uh, how to share with you uh, how to raise our frequency to awaken to our divinity understanding the root cause of the low energy we experience in our earthly journey to know how to steadily raise it and reach our natural divine frequency natural because we are supposed to be vibrating in a divine frequency that is our main purpose for being um, in this earthly journey we are supposed to uh, journey towards that higher level okay so we start from uh, understanding that we all come from one source we, uh, we come from the light uh, there there are those saying that didn't we come from darkness because everything started from darkness no um, it start everything started from creation the em the emptiness the vast space it, it the the darkness that the, they mention it's there but there's nothing there until our source started creating including us so we all started from uh, the energy of creation others call this energy light the heavenly father the energy of love the energy of wisdom or divine consciousness um, but while the consciousness is an energy that creates or gives light for it to be all-knowing, ever-evolving, it must continuously create and experience various contrasts. Right? So, 
our energy can be uh, very powerful. It is um, the source of all good. But it does, when we are good, it does not necessarily mean that we know everything. Um, we understand something better when we have experienced the opposite of something. Right? We understand uh, darkness because we know light. We understand low because we know of high. Okay, so the contrast provides for a better understanding of things and for the, our Creator to be always evolving, always um, knowing. It has to experience the contrast that we, His Creators, are experiencing. Okay? And so from the source of all came small sparks. From the big light came the small sparks of light. And these include the human souls. The many smaller minds within an all-encompassing mind. The co-creators that come in human form and begin their human journey in the level of ignorance. Or forgetting so that they may make their way up to the level of enlightenment or knowing their true being and in the process learn, know, and contribute to the wisdom of the source. And so the root cause of every soul being in low energy is because we begin each human journey in low frequency or the energy of ignorance okay being in the physical makes us temporarily forget what we are what we already know so we can create new experiences gather fresh knowledge and evolve but often not knowing what lies ahead the feeling of uncertainty puts us in the energy of fear. Do you notice that when, whenever there's a psychic friend or a fortune teller gives us a glimpse of our future, it seems to give us a feeling of assurance that we are on the right path because we begin our journey not knowing what lies ahead. And we um, experience fear because of not knowing what's coming our way. Okay? But souls are supposed to rise from the level of ignorance or energy of fear towards the level of enlightenment or energy of unconditional love. But very few are able to do so because of many factors. Now, I have read many posts saying that we are supposed to embrace light and darkness at the same time. That duality only exists in the material world. The material world provides the contrast to the spiritual world. And so this physical world has both light and darkness. But we, on our way up, going to a level of enlightenment, we are supposed to shed that energy, that those dark energy. Because... Um, uh, we cannot be one with our source. We cannot go back to our roots and be one with, with one, be one with our Creator if we are bringing with us all those attachments, all those um, uh, experiences that make us um, get stuck or uh, get stuck in low energy or further lowers our energy. So, you get it? Um, we are supposed to 
turn our backs to the uh, low energy that we acquire from our human experience so that they're like baggages we're supposed to leave our baggages behind so that we can rise and ascend from this material world to the heavenly realm um, being one with our source means we go back to our our roots our roots being the good our roots having no um, attachments or baggages from that we have acquired from the physical experience okay so that's our i a big part of my confusion was removed when i when it was revealed to me that i am a light being i am not I am not a human being. I am a spirit having this physical journey, this earthly stay, so that I can gather, I can gather all this knowledge and be able to contribute to the divine consciousness. Next, I was also so relieved to find out that um, we are we have we are not supposed to stay in that low energy we are supposed to ascend the design for the human souls is to ascend from this physical realm or from this low uh, level realm so when 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 we say it's the design for us it means um the the heavenly beings also provided us with everything that we will need for us to be able to accomplish our work okay but like i mentioned why is it that very few are able to ascend from this physical realm it's because our physical our flesh gave birth to passions okay in the course of our human journey we did not anticipate that we will lose our way back home okay we became too attached to our earthly experiences that we have totally forgotten our true being and purpose our feelings became emotions our emotions became passions and so our preoccupation became creating things or experiences that will satisfy our passions not anymore going back home okay we have we have totally disregarded that because our senses have become our tool to be our tools to becoming attached to this earthly experience not knowing that these passions these attachments are unnatural to our energy and disturbs our vibration we are not aware that what we are doing what we are so passionate about uh, like food like games like sex like uh, alcohol we are not aware that these passions are disturbing our vibration lowering our frequency thus preventing us from ascending we don't have the power to ascend from this physical realm to the heavenly realm this lowering of our frequency this lowering of our energy manifests in the physical as illnesses and confusion or torment in our mind and many of us are experiencing that especially right after the pandemic i i have i, I know a lot of people that were really having a hard time 
uh, recovering from the pandemic and its um, torment to their minds. But, but you know, not only that, what are the things that torment our mind, our finances, our health, our relationships, um, our obligations, our work, our career. So uh, this attack, because we, we, we think uh, that this is our reality. We put all our passion, we put all our emotion, our, all our focus on these things in the physical and not knowing that these things are lowering our frequency. Our own creations contribute to further lowering our energy or keeping us stuck in low frequency. We made a lot of beautiful things. Yes, I, I will admit to that. The earth is beautiful. It is something that we can all be proud of because we we are part of this creation um but the thing is we are supposed to enjoy our creations without being attached to it likewise when we experience difficulties when we experience hardships we are also supposed not to be attached to them knowing that it is a temporary experience that we go through to trigger us to awaken, to learn, to evolve. So, isn't it, isn't it nice to know that we are, not, we are not designed to stay in this low frequency? We are equipped, well equipped, to rise above our situation but we have to first heal our attachments okay what are these attachments these are these attachments are the passions that block our energy centers okay others call this chakra spinning wheels uh, but these are energy centers that um power our physical and our um, um, spirit so in our human journey we got we got attached to laziness and that blocks our root chakra we got attached to lust and that blocks our sacral chakra we got attached to food to <laughs> and we, we are we um there's now gluttony in our energy and that blocks our solar plexus we because of the many beautiful things that we see many beautiful things that often we could not have we have envy in our heart it blocks the power of our heart and because most of us most souls are unawakened we do things that we really do not know we we hurt people uh, we oppress others we, we we bully others we take advantage of others because we are not aware of what we truly are and so we we have anger in our energy we could not understand why people are so rude why people um why people hurt people we could not understand why um we just offend without with you know not considering anymore if we're hurting others and um because of what what others have what we and what we uh see all around us we also have especially power <laughs> we develop greed okay and that blocks our third eye and because we start from the level of ignorance of not knowing of forgetting our ego will not admit to that 
our ego will not let us admit that we, we know not what we do. And so we have pride, which blocks our crown chakra. Okay? Some of our creations and lifestyle also keep us in low frequency. Uh, we made fast food or junk food. We have vices like alcohol, gambling, illegal drugs, smoking. We have some drugs and chemicals that uh, affect our physical and also our internal energy. Okay? The computer games and other forms of distractions distracting us from awakening distracting us from truly knowing what we are capable of this distracting us from discovering our powers the some music mu music movies and shows literature literature with dark themes uh, sedentary or inactive lifestyle being workaholic not enjoying the simple things anymore being a slave driver using people for uh, for your own interest and this one feeling entitled always whining always complaining worrying and cussing these uh, contribute uh, to the spread of the energy of fear or low energy so we need to remove these attachments to raise our frequency and how do we do that? By first awakening to what we truly are and our purpose for our human journey. Uh, to awaken to what we truly are is to know what powers we have. Um, what, what are we um, supposed to awaken to? We are supposed to know that we are divine beings. We come from a divine light. Um, we are not mere imperfect, flawless, weak humans. The power of our creator is in us. We just have to tap into it. Why have we not tapped into it for a very very long time now why is it that we have we know of ascended beings but uh, we seem to have this um, idea that enlightenment or um, being awakened is just for a few people but it's because um, these things were not really understood before it, the, the messages were um, not conveyed before in a manner that will be um, understood especially by the masses um, many ascended beings tried to to share or spread this wisdom but uh, unfortunately uh, it was it was hidden for personal interest it was um it was let's let's uh, say uh, disregarded because people think it's too hard to follow people think it's too hard to understand people think that mere humans don't have the power to accomplish the process to achieve enlightenment but no uh, we have the power to raise our frequency we have the power to rise from the level of having forgotten everything to the level of knowing all all that we need to understand what we have to do to ascend from this physical realm and go back home the good news really is is that we need not um, we need not remain earthbound being earthbound exhausts our energy it dims our light 
um, our light dies because of the because we do not know how to recharge or feed our light. But once we know how to feed our light, how to raise our frequency, we will have the power to to ascend to the heavenly realm and not be earthbound anymore. So, you know, when I was much younger, a psychic friend once told me that the reason there are many souls trying to communicate with me is because the souls, most souls are just earthbound. And I really didn't pay much attention to it. I, um, I did not understood it. I did not understand it that time because I was taught that once you die, either you go to heaven or you go to hell. I did not really understand what being earthbound means. But now I know that um, being earthbound is to remain in this lower physical realm. But we are being called to ascend to our real home, to our heavenly home. And we are given the power that we are well equipped to do so. So we can go back to our roots. We can raise our frequency. And may I suggest um, the things I did to be able to raise my frequency. Thing number one is I meditated. I did meditation to quiet my mind. When I was able to quiet my mind, I was able to focus on absorbing the light of our source. When I was able to absorb the light of our source, I was able to little by little raise my energy because I was feeding my light with the, with the light of our source. Okay? I also unblock the energy centers, the chakras, the spinning wheels. It's no use raising our energy if our chakras or energy centers are blocked. Okay? So, um, we need, it's, yes, I know, it's a bit, of a hard, it's a bit of a hard work um, because you have one, you have to forgive forgive your enemies love your enemies it's a, it's a bit of a hard work but wow, the, the rewards are it's awesome it's, it's priceless to finally have an overwhelming sense of peace joy to finally have all the confusion removed in your removed from your mind it's indescribable and then we, you have to balance the masculine and your and feminine energies meaning you have to make your mind and heart work together um we started from the level of ignorance, from the level of not knowing. We started from the level of just using our mind. Okay, um, why is that? Um, in our in our human journey, we had to first survive. We had to first figure out our um, um, stay here. We had to provide for our family we have, to, we have to work okay so we were mostly using our mind we were we were kind of you know selfish because we wanted to set ourselves you know financially and so we tend to neglect the power of our heart but the power of our heart is where our feminine energy emanates from we must learn to balance the masculine and feminine energy because when we do so you unlock you unlock 
all your powers. You become a very powerful magnet. Uh, ah, <laughs> we have to heal our roots of the unnatural imprints we got from all our human journey. Meaning, all, our roots came from the good. Our source is the, is the source of all good. But in our human journey, we acquired um, blemishes, impurities, um, like envy, jealousy, anger. Okay, it's, We cannot deny they are all embedded in our roots. Because if they are not, it would not, it would not be uh, hard for us to unblock our energy centers. These blemishes, impurities, are embedded now in our roots. Our roots have good and evil um, imprints. And we have to remove the evil ones. Meaning, evil meaning um, below our natural divine frequency. You, did you, do you get it? For us to be in our natural divine frequency, we have to be back in our good roots. The roots that, um, that has the power uh, of our, that contains the power of our divinity. Okay? Uh, we, we practice the opposite of the passions that we have, have obtained uh, to unblock our energy, okay? Meaning, um, if we have, if we succumb to laziness, we start moving already. We start working to unblock our root chakra. If we have succumbed to addiction to sex, it means we have to uh, respect the act more. We have to understand that, you know why it's sacral? Sacred? Okay. Uh, having sex with just anybody is very risky. <laughs> so. Uh, we have to practice self-love instead of looking for love from others. Okay? Uh, we, 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 to raise our frequency, we change our diet. I, uh, I did this. Um, when I was um, raising my energy, it, it came naturally. I did not want to eat cooked food. It, fe it felt so dead to me, like, it, like they didn't contain any en energy at all. So during that time, I was just eating mostly greens, fr uh, fruits and vegetables, juicing. I avoided meat. Um, I noticed that my body, my physical, was adjust adjusting to the energy uh, it is receiving. So... It, um, I, I, I did not, I did not really plan on going on a healthy diet. It's my, it's my own physical that led me to avoid unhealthy food. Okay, um, I spent a lot of time in nature. Oh. It's because we, we came from nature. Our physical came from nature, from Mother Earth. And so, to help our energy, we also need to take care of our physical because our physical affects our energy. When we take care of our physical, um, the energy, the soul, uh, gets healed from its um, blockages also. So, I spent time in nature, water, sun, and moonlight. It's true. Um, they are very helpful. Smile always. Oh, I see. And laughter. 
I I noticed before the pandemic, before my transformation, I seldom smiled. It's like it seemed there's nothing to smile about in this very dark world. But when when I reached enlightenment, when I got my fresh set of eyes, I could not stop smiling. And the laughter I get from my grandchildren, oh, it's, it's just so refreshing. You will notice that uh, when you force yourself to smile, your energy will really change drastically. Spend a lot of time with children and positive people. I'm not saying we discriminate. I'm not saying um, we leave others to their um, negativity. I'm just saying we protect our energy first. When we have established our inner, our high level of energy, you will know, you will know that you have reached um, your divine frequency, how? You're not anymore a highly fluctuating energy. Um, you're not anymore uh, very emotional. You are just calm, steady, and peaceful. Because you have the knowledge that everything, um, everything will, turn, will work out for your benefit. You have the knowledge that that what you see around you are mere illusions because your reality is that you are a divine energy okay you have a knowing that the challenges you're facing are just there to make you stronger to make you to, to awaken you to make you level up okay so you will know you will know once you have you are in that energy that whatever is happening around you you are unbothered you still smile you you still have your um bright countenance you know that you have reached your divine frequency okay so uh music singing dancing arts other beautiful visuals it also helped me during that time when I was raising my energy um, to surround myself with candles, um, you know, um, experience different scents or aromas. Crystals also, I use them also. But a note please, um, do not overdo it. And my concern here is that I hope the too, the too much mining will not destroy our mother earth okay? and do not get attached to all this paraphernalia do not think that you will not raise your you will not be able to raise your energy without these things you can it's just that you know these beautiful visuals um help raise our feelings okay and yoga exercise massage proper sleep really sleeping is the time wherein we get our energy really gets to recharge uh, we really, it, it, there is wisdom in the saying that we have to get proper sleep and one last thing helping others raise their energy I have um, I have I've, I've, I've been mentoring other others in their awakening and when they show their appreciation when I see them uh, progressing uh, the, um, I just can't it really makes my day <laughs> so this is just a uh, part of everything that I discussed in my book, Ascended. I just, I'm going to finish here. If there's anything else that we would, we would like to discuss, maybe in future um, 
live chats, live video. We, uh, we just maybe um, recommend or suggest to us. But if you want to be able to really digest everything on your own uh, pace, the book is available for our members at a, at a discounted rate, exclusive to our members. And um, Anita will uh, um, give you the link to that. Also, we are giving away um, two free copies of Ascended. And Anita will be will also be um, announcing the winners after this. Um, if you want to view the contents of the book, um, there uh, um, it's available. Um, the contents are available uh, at PayHip. Okay? So, thank you so much for being with me. I hope I was able to um, shed some light i hope i am able to share some healing and uh, i just i am just sending all of you peace love and life uh, at this point if you have questions No questions? Okay. So, if there are, I will just answer them through our chat. Okay? Have a good night, everyone. Blessings. <laughs>